All right, guys, so today we're gonna review two more topics on our homework. The first one we're gonna talk about is a check register with deposits and withdrawals. And the second one we're gonna talk about is a uh, multiplication problem involving fractions, okay? So we're gonna quickly go through those uh, and then you guys can answer your homework questions. So it says, the check register shows the transactions in Jason's new checking account. Okay, so we have the date that the transaction happened, the description of what it is, and then whether it's a deposit, a withdrawal, and then the balance. All right, so it says, based on the information in the check register, what is the balance in Jason's check register after the ATM transaction on October 3rd? So basically, we start with the balance, and then we deposit and withdrawal, and they wanna know what the balance is after this withdrawal. Okay, so keywords in this problem are going to be deposit and withdraw. And remember deposits are money we add to our account. So these are gonna be positives or pluses. And withdrawals are negatives that we take away from our account. So these will be negatives or subtractions. Okay, and then the rule for decimals is just to line them up. So I'm going to start with my balance of 625.10 and I'm subtracting and adding decimals so I know I need to line up my decimals so I'm going to start with my deposit of 785.55 okay so I added my paycheck to my account uh, 5, 6, 10 carry the 1, 11 carry the 1, 14. So this, I now have $1,410.65 in my bank account after this deposit. <clears throat> so now I'm going to start withdrawing or subtracting. So I have to make my car payment. My car payment was 626 and 40 cents. Again, I'm lining up my decimal because that's the rule when adding or subtracting. So five minus zero is five, six minus four is two. Can't take six from zero, have to borrow. Okay, can't take two from zero, have to borrow. Can't take six from three, have to borrow. And I end up with $784.25 after that withdrawal. And then the last step is to take out my ATM cash withdrawal. So I went to the ATM, I needed some cash. So I'm gonna take out $120 even. Okay, so that's gonna be five, two, bring down the decimal, four, six, and six. So I end up with $664.25 left as my balance after my ATM withdrawal on October 3rd. All right, guys, remember deposit is a plus, withdrawal is a minus. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next one says, in the expression shown, n represents a rational number. Okay, it says, what value of n makes the expression equal a number more than five? So whatever we're doing, we want an answer that is more than five. Well, I know that when a number and a letter sit next to one another, that actually means multiplication. So we could write it like this, five times in. We could write it like this, five times in, right? Lots of different ways to show multiplication, but these all mean the same thing, okay? So when it says what value of n, that means these are all gonna represent the letter n. So we're gonna multiply five times this fraction and see if it comes out more than five five times this fraction, see if it comes out more than five. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna start with answer choice A. So I'm gonna take A and multiply by five. Well, I know whole numbers go over one, and my rule is just top times top, bottom times bottom. So that's gonna be 10 over three, and 10 over three comes out to be three and one, third. So is three and one third more than five? No. So A is not correct. All right. So then <clears throat> let's try answer choice B. So answer choice B, 
was six over six. And again, we are multiplying by a whole five. Whole number goes over one. Top times top, bottom times bottom. Six times five is 30, and six times one is six. 30 over six is improper, just like 10 over three was. So when we cowboy and horse divide, we're gonna get into, end up getting five, okay? Because 30 divided by six is five. Because five is not more than five, right? Five is equal to five, then B is also wrong. All right, so then we can try C. So I have answer choice C was four over five. Again, I'm multiplying by a whole five. Whole goes over one, top times top, bottom times bottom. Again, it's improper. Improper fractions have to be cowboy and horse divided. 20 divided by five equals four. Four is not more than five, so C is also wrong. So D is probably my answer, but I still need to mathematically prove it. So I'm gonna come down here, write answer choice D. Answer choice D was seven over four. Again, we are multiplying by whole five. Whole numbers go over one, top times top, bottom times bottom. This is 35 over four. Okay, I have a improper fraction, right? A big cowboy and a small horse. So I'm gonna cowboy and horse divide. Four goes into 35 eight times. And that's gonna be eight and three fourths. So even if you didn't know the three fourths, I know four goes into 35 at least eight times, right? That would make 32. And then I know that eight is more than five. So D is my best choice. And that's how we solve those two problems. Remember, a deposit is a positive or a plus. A withdrawal is a negative or a minus. And when you see a number and a letter sitting next to one another, that means to multiply. Good job, guys.